Dear students, in my last video, I explained uh, multiple choice questions and fill in the blanks. The link is in the description that you can watch anytime. Now, in this video, I am going to discuss only numericals which are present in this uh, model paper. Uh, the first numerical which is present in part C, that is 33 question. Let us have a look on this problem. A cyclist comes to a skidding uh, in 10 meter. During the process, the force on the cycle due to the road is 200. Uh, 200 newton and is directly, op directly opposed to the motion how much work does the road do the do on the cycle so here we know that the work done so here the distance traveled by the cycle is 10 meter and the force exerted by the road on the bicycle that is a negative because it is a frictional force so 200 newton so work done is equals to force into displacement that we know so that we can write a minus 200 into 10 this is equals to minus 2000 joule. This is the work done by the road on the bicycle. Suppose if they ask you to find out work done by the bicycle on the road, then that is work done by the bicycle on the road. So, you know that force exerted by the bicycle is weight of the bicycle that is acting in the downward direction. Whereas, the displacement of the body is like this. So, angle between the displacement and the weight of the bicycle is 90 degree. So, work done by the bicycle on the road is 0, whereas the work does done by the road on the bicycle on this cycle is minus 2000 job. Okay. Let us see the next problem. So, here we can see S5 mark numerical that is 45. A projectile is projectile. So, a projectile has a maximum so only it is projectile a projectile has a maximum horizontal range of 40 meter calculate uh, speed of the project projection of the projectile the maximum height reached by the projectile so let's solve this problem here we know that here the given data is the maximum horizontal range that is range is maximum here this is equals to 40 meter and acceleration due to as they mentioned is 10 meter per second square and we need to find out speed of a projection of the projectile we know that the range is equals to range of the projectile is equals to u square sin 2 theta divided by g for maximum range for r maximum sorry for r maximum theta should be theta should be equals to 45 degree Therefore, R maximum can be written as the R maximum is equals to u square by g. Now, make u as a subject formula here so that we will get u equals to square root of R maximum into g. Here on substituting square root of R maximum here, the maximum horizontal maximum horizontal range that is 40 into acceleration to gravity is 10. So, here 40 into 10, 400 square root of 400 is 20 that is 20 meter per second is the speed of projection of the projectile okay this is the first one now let me find out the maximum height reached by the projectile we know that the height reached by the projectile is equals to u square sin square theta divided by cosine for maximum height for maximum height theta should be equal to how much 90 degree therefore maximum height is equal to u square by 2 z so we need to find out h maximum just substitute the velocity of uh, the projectile that is initial velocity of the projectile that is 20 square that 20 into 20 divided by 2 into acceleration due to gravity is 10 so this and this get cancelled and 2 1 2 1 so here we will get the maximum height reached by the projectile is 20 meter it is a, the maximum height reached by the projectile is 20 meter okay let's go to the next problem the angular speed of a motor wheel is increased from 
1200 rpm to 3120 rpm in 16 seconds what is the angular acceleration assuming the acceleration to be uniform how many revolutions does the engine make during this time so let's solve this problem here we have a frequency that is initial frequency as well as final frequency after 16 second diagonal so let me write first f1 that is initial frequency f1 equals to 1200 rpm so always you have to express in terms of assign it that is a second that is rps revolution per second you are right that is a 1200 by 60 second so we will get rp rounds per second so six one zero zero get cancelled so we get a uh, 20 rps that is nothing but hertz 20 hertz now f2 is equals to here we have f2 we have uh, 3120 that is also in rpm that should be in rps that is a 3120 divided by 60 rounds per second so 0 0 get cancelled so here here we have 6 1 ja, 6 5 ja, and 6 2 ja, that is a 52 hertz this is f1 and f2 and then here time they mentioned that is a t equals to 16 seconds and we need to find out angular acceleration so we know that uh, angular acceleration is equals to alpha equals to that is a uh, w omega 2 minus omega 1 divided by t that is a final angular velocity minus in, in, initial angular velocity divided by time here this can be written as 2 pi f2 minus 2 pi f1 because we know that omega is equals to 2 pi f so that we can write 2 f 2 pi f2 minus 2 pi f1 divided by t so we should take 2 pi outside 2 pi f2 minus f1 divided by t now on substituting the values that is 2 pi f2 minus f1 here f2 is 52 minus 20 divided by 16 here 52 minus 20 is 32 16 1 ja, 16 2 ja, that is 16 1 ja, 16 2 ja, 32 and 2 2 ja, 4 4 pi radian per second square this is what angular acceleration okay here we have 52 minus 20 so here we can write 2 pi into this is 52 minus 32 divided by 16 this is 1 ja, this is 2 ja. so that will get 4 pi radian per second square now the second question we can see how many revolutions does the engine make during this time so we know that uh, theta is equals to number of rotations or number of revolutions into 2 pi so and number of revolutions is equals to n is equals to theta divided by 2 pi we need to find out here theta theta is nothing but what angular displacement that angular displacement can be written as uh, that theta equals to uh, you know that s is equals to ut plus half it square no s is equals to ut plus half it square but this is angular physical quantity that is theta so that instead of u you can write omega initial angular frequency into time plus half angular acceleration into t square divided by 2 pi and substituting that is omega 1 that is omega 1 is equals to 2 pi f1 we can write 2 pi f1 into t plus half alpha t square divided by 2 pi here in place of alpha we can write 4 pi because already we found angular relation that is 4 pi okay here 2 1 ja 2 2 ja and here 2 pi 2 pi can be taken outside that is 2 pi t 2 pi t that can be taken outside here you can see 2 pi t and here we can take f1 plus t whole divided by 2 pi 2 pi 2 pi get cancelled so let me substitute to t t is 16 16 into f1 here f1 is equals to 20 hertz 20 plus t is 16 so this is equals to 16 into 36 so 16 into 36 is 576 number that is a the number of uh, revolutions how many revolution does the engine make during this time is 576 revolutions made by the engine during the time interval 16 seconds okay so moving to the next question a cubical thermocool ice box of side 30 centimeter has a thickness of 5 centimeter 
if 4 kg of ice is put in the box estimate the amount of ice remaining after 6 hours we need to calculate the amount of ice left after 6 hours the outside temperature is 45 degrees celsius and given the thermal conductivity of the thermocol as well as latent heat of fusion of water let's solve this problem so for first let me write it uh, given data here we have 30 centimeter that is a side of length 30 centimeter let me write in s unit that is 30 into 10 raised to minus 2 meter and thickness let me write it as x x is equal to 5 centimeter that is 10 to the power of minus 2 meter and 4 kg mass of the ice is of 4 kg and uh, this is the ice so that temperature of and uh, time after which uh, amount of ice left is a uh, t that is time is equals to 6 hours 6 hours so we should con you should write in seconds so 6 hours in 1 hour 3600 seconds are there 6 into 360 that is 21600 seconds are present in 6 hours now the outside temperature is uh, let me write outside temperature is 45 degrees celsius and you know that temperature of the ice is a uh, let me take it at T1 that is equals to 0 degree Celsius. Now we have K here that is K equals to 0 0.01 watt per meter per Kelvin as well as latent heat of fusion of water that is equals to 335 into 10 raised to 3 joule per kg. It's a given data. We need to find out the amount of ice left after 6 hours. We know that from the th law of thermal conductivity Q is equals to K A that is the uh, Q amount of heat energy observed is relative proportional to area of cross section and uh, temperature difference, time for which the heat energy is supplied, and thickness. And not only that, we know that the amount of heat energy supplied is equal to the amount of ice melted into latent heat of ice or latent heat of fusion of water. So, now in place of Q, I am right. Let me write mass of the ice melted into latent heat is equal to K A T2 minus T1 of T. So, let me make a uh, mass of the ice melted as a subject formula so that we get divided by it is okay so that we get k a t2 minus t1 t divided by l x we know that the area of cross section of the cube equals to area equals to l square but here how many surfaces are there for cube six surfaces so that area can be written as six l square so in place of area we can write six l that is six l square so i'm substituting all the values that is mass of the ice melted is equal to k, k value is 0 0.01 and 6 into l square, l is equal to 30 into 10 raised to minus 2 whole square and here t2, t2 is equal to 45 degree celsius and t1 is 0, so directly we can write 45 degree celsius and the time for which the heat is supplied that is 2600 second divided by latent heat of fusion of water is equal to 335 into 10 raised to 3 into x that is 5 centimeter, 5 into 10 raised to minus 2, let it minus 2 and this 0 0.01 get cancel, then 5 one 5 9 5, 9, 45 and 10 power of 3 and here we can cancel 3 points and then you can write 21 points 6 series 10 power of 3 and this 21 point 3 comes in. It will become now let me write the remaining 6 into 30 whole square into 10 power minus 2 can written as written as 3 to 9 into 10 power of minus 2 and here we can write we will have with 9 9 into 21 point 6 divided by 335 and simplifying we get 0 0.313 kg this is the mass of the ice melted in 6 hours but what do we want we want mass of the ice left mass of ice left that is equals to that is initial mass of the ice is mass of the ice minus mass of the ice left the mass of the ice melted is equals to here 4 kg minus 0 0.313 that is equals to 3.687 kg this is the mass of the ice left after 6 hours. So, let me write here 3.687 kg. This answer. Okay, let us go to the next question. Here you can see a rocket is moving at a speed of 200 meter per second towards a stationary target. While moving it emits a wave of frequency 1000 hertz. Some uh, some of the sound reaching the target gets reflected as an echo. Calculate. Let me solve this. So, here we have uh, let me take first case in the first case uh, the rocket is acting as a source that is what uh, here we are going to find out frequency of the sound as detected by the target so the sound is emitting from the rocket so that velocity of the source that is nothing but velocity of the rocket should be considered so that is equals to 200 meter per second now um, velocity of the observer here the observer is here target so that 
velocity of the target is 0 and frequency of the wave is 1000 hertz what we need to find out the frequency of the sound as detected by the target that is operant frequency actually so we have a formula for operant frequency that is equals to real frequency into v plus r minus v naught divided by v plus r minus vs this is what the general formula here the observer is at rest so that we can leave this that is a, we can write only v divided by v plus vs and then here the source is moving towards the observer so that we can consider it is negative that is a v minus vs so on substituting the values that is a f h equals to 20 power of 3 and here v equals to 330 that is velocity of the sound in the air 330 minus velocity of the source is 200 on simplifying we get 20 power of 3 into 330 divided by that is a 130 this is equals to 2538 hertz this is what the frequency of the sound as detected by the target that is 2538 hertz now let me go for the second case that is the frequency of the echo as detected by the target here as detected by the target not it is it is a rocket as detected by rocket because now the target acting as a source so here velocity of the source here the source is now target because we are getting the sound from the uh, target we are getting reflected sound no? so that we have to consider the source is rocket sorry source is a target source acting as a target so that so velocity of the uh, source is zero now and here observer who is the observer here observer is the rockets that is we are so it is moving with a velocity 200 meter per second and now we have a formula that is a let me write here f double dash f double dash is equals to f dash here we are getting the sound from the target no this is a reflected sound or else uh, echo sound so that we have to consider this f dash it is the apparent frequency so f double dash equals to f dash v plus r minus v naught divided by v plus r minus vs here we know that velocity of the source is uh, zero so that we can leave this and uh, the source is moving towards the observer so that it should be considered as plus v plus v naught divided by v so on substituting the values that is f dash is equals to the frequency of the echo that is a reflected sound should be considered 2538 uh, into velocity of the sound is 330 and velocity of the observer that is a observer that is a rocket is 200 divided by 330 and simplifying this we get it is 2538 into 330 plus 200 530 divided by 330 and this is equals to 4076 hertz okay thank you Thanks for watching.